All right, so the difference between France and how France dealt with Indians and how England did with, dealt with Indians, we can see now the results of that today, that the racism and the, the elitism and suppression of Indians, well, the elitism for the English, suppression for the Indians, was the prevailing strategy that uh, took over America pretty much. France's, uh, France's, France's, uh, like, position or approach to it didn't win, didn't, uh, quite, uh, get a foothold. Even though France played a large part in, in the discovery and exploration of America, their approach, uh, just, it's it's fizzled out, okay. And there might be other factors to consider as well. You know, they don't. I just shown this one paragraph. You look at diseases and um, other kinds of governmental strifes. Um, uh, but I think these show a good parallel between the two countries. I mean, there's other f countries to consider. The Dutch. Uh, moved in, but they got taken over by the English. The Spanish, they seem to have their own problems. Portuguese, I don't know, they were going to Brazil or something. It was it was a lot, in large part, a uh, a battle between France and England. And yeah, over time, uh, the English gained stronger footholds with their approach, and. Uh, that's, you know, maybe there's some luck involved as well. It's, it, it could maybe, if, if this was, if this pl was played out again in another time, maybe France could have uh, prevailed as, as a, a more dominant nation. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. This is just, this is how things turned out. And, uh, it's, uh, hopefully not a precedent for, for how future uh, governments uh, play out, um, may, may, but may, it is a it is a strong strong historical reference to to think about that uh, cer certain approaches work better than others.